Chef Sam from Lucky House Cantonese Private Kitchen. So today, uh, my wife uh, has a craving for pork belly. So what I'm going to do is uh, stewed pork belly with uh, black sugar. So it's a very simple uh, recipe, and anybody in uh, in, 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 in in the home can can do it. It's only have a few uh, few uh, uh, ingredients only, but it will come out very very nice. Okay. So now uh, we will have uh, this uh, nice piece of pork belly here, and we uh, cut them up. Uh, I see. Cut it up first. The pork belly, you cut, I've already cut them into uh, strips and then now cut them into smaller pieces also cut them into smaller pieces and then you can start to marinate them okay now so the pork belly has been uh, cut up already so the first thing you do uh, is uh, marinate it first uh. so I use some of this uh, Thai fish sauce so here's around uh, maybe slightly more than half a kilo but less than a kilo so with this uh, tablespoon uh, you need around that uh, should be enough uh. then you mix it all up mix it all up marinate it you need to marinate it for around 2-3 uh, hours so what do you do? Oh, so mix it all up already then put it inside the fridge then leave it there for 2-3 hours now I heat up my uh, cast iron wok already you see wow, it's, it's all steaming up then I just put in the, the pork belly and then dry uh, fry it uh, for a while you don't have to worry about it sticking to the wok lah. You know, if you have a non-stick wok, that's the best. But because pork belly is, is so much fat, you see, uh, so you can dry and then the, the oil will come out in a moment. Uh, then you will also make the, the pork lah. Uh, what do you say? It, it, it makes it different, no? It will make it uh, like crispier later when you eat it. Uh, that's, that's the purpose of uh, dry frying. So now, uh, we fry that already ah. Uh, then what do you do? Okay, then you cover. Oh, you can smell the fish sauce, uh, uh, the, the aroma of the fish sauce coming out already, and then you cover it. Okay, cover for about 3-4 minutes. Okay. Uh, you can smell again, uh, wow, the aroma comes out again. And then you come out, uh, then you... Oh, you can see a bit of it is already charred, you know, because this is using the, the cast iron wok, uh, it's very hot. Uh, you see, it doesn't stick. Uh, ah, yeah, you can smell the, the pork smell already. Ooh. Okay, cover again. Okay. So, another 2 3 minutes has passed. Then, now, wow, you see the, some of the, 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 the juices from the pork and the oil from the pork has already you know, come out. You see, now, now it starts to like, you know, really like, you know, like uh, constrict and contract up, and then it looks very nice already. That's how uh, you make the meat like crispier when, when, when you eat it later. So this, this is the technique uh, that I learned a long long time ago uh, from my Yochu friend uh, who lives in uh, Pulau Tekong. They, they, they can catch uh, wild boar. So he said wild boar uh, last time uh, if you want to fry wild boar and it is nice and crunchy to eat, what you do is uh, you must cut, slice it all up first and then after that dry fry. Dry fry without any oil and anything and then after that let the, all the juices uh, from the from the from the meat are uh, dried up and then it's very nice. That, that is the way to cook a wild boar, a fry wild boar, a frying uh, a wild boar. Uh, okay. So now, okay, look, look at this, look at this. I never put any oil, you know, but all the oil is coming out. Huh? That's, that's, that's the magic of it when you when you're cooking pork belly, don't need to put oil, ready fat enough already. Still why you want to put oil? Oh, and then now you can smell the aroma. Okay, now next thing that you need to do. Uh, get your uh, the black sugar. Huh? How much? I got, I got, uh, you like it a bit 
sweeter you put more sugar you like it not so sweet uh, then you put less sugar uh, I, I i have uh, actually a bit of a sweet tooth so i can put a bit more uh, no worry one black sugar is okay one uh, everybody likes sweet uh, who, do who doesn't like chocolate you tell me uh, actually i don't like chocolate uh. <laughs> yeah 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 sorry uh, i don't like chocolate uh, but i like to eat sweet thing uh. funny uh. okay uh see now the color start to looks nicer okay then what do you do next okay now uh, the black sauce comes in ready uh, so you put your black sauce i think here about okay around this uh. about this a bit half or three quarter a uh, tablespoon of the black sauce okay uh, and then fry uh, fry this Okay. Now, okay, this is done. Huh? One more step. Hot water. So you need hot water. Uh, pour some hot water to, to steal it. Uh, to steal it. Oh, see? Oh, yeah. that's, that's the magic of a cast iron wok. Isn't it? So nice. You put down the hot water only, uh, everything bubbles up. Already. Okay, now what you do, we steal it. I think for about until we Cantonese call this sao shui until no water still until no water okay cover put to uh, like a medium heat like that uh. put to a medium heat not, not, not too high medium heat and then let 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 let, let it uh, reduce and let, let, the, let the pot cook for a while okay, you need that okay so we wait Okay, now about maybe five or six minutes gone past. So now, uh, open it up. Let me check it a bit. Uh, stir it a bit. Uh, and make it. Oh, you see the color starting to come up already. Oh, the nice golden, like uh, chocolatey color. <laughs> chocolatey color comes up. Uh, you can smell the aroma. You see, I don't, don't, I don't put any garlic one. Uh, usually people wow, must have garlic la, fried vegetable also garlic la, but I, 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 I actually sometimes don't like garlic so much la. oh because it's got, got, a, got a very power, overpowering smell to it oh, and then if you want to la, uh, go out with your girlfriend la, go out with your wife la, then you got all the garlic smell la, you will smell like uh, not so nice huh? correct uh, then, uh, that's, uh, so the water going 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 down already going going down already. I think two three more minutes okay already. Okay, so from the beginning uh, when you throw in the pork uh, until now maybe about around 15-20 minutes. Okay, you see the all the water has already boiled off and then you see because the the uh, brown sugar uh, has uh, caramelized ma uh, together with the with the dark soya sauce uh, you see the color of the pork is very nice okay for me this is already done okay already but some of you might like to have an optional step use the uh, uh, chinese cooking wine or oh, a bit uh, this is optional lah, uh. Uh, maybe then you blend it over and then fry it uh, then you can smell the aroma of the chinese wine okay Okay, it's done ready like oh very fast less than if you count in the, the cutting pork time like, and all this like, maybe 25 to 30 minutes or if you cut very fast 25 minutes long like, your, your, your knife not so not so sharp like, then 30 minutes long but it's easy or oh, well, even better ideas tell your 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 your, your butcher like, cut for you <laughs> then you come and cook that's more easy okay done finish switch off the fire then uh, serve. Oh, look at the color. Huh? Nice, right? So appetizing. Uh, how not to love this? How, how not to love this, this kind of meat? Huh? Hong Siu Yogurt. Yeah. See? Uh, sure, when you put up, wow! Looks so appetizing. Glossy. Beautiful. And tasting very good meat crunchy oh don't have to cook so long one cooked just nice done already. Oh, okay so uh, if you like my video so please uh, subscribe to uh, lucky house Cantonese private kitchen
I'm Sam here, so I'll see you again another time.